Content warning, blood. After worrying for weeks that I had lost my Weavi Moxie, I found it today tucked into the storage box at the foot of my bed, where I now remember stashing it after a very satisfying period wank that left me too tired to move or clean it. Ew. Clean your blank toys, y'all. I am not scrolling down for the love of God. Look, if you have those toys perfectly fine and everything, but you would kind of think it would be common sense to, oh, I don't know, wash them off afterwards, not just toss them aside thinking that's totally fine. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in the r slash just like beer thing because, you know, both guys and girls can be very much creepy, and Jesus Christ, this is going to be a thing. Uh, if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications playlist will be in the end card in case you want to check out some more now nah, even the preference is suspicious to me it's one of those ped leaning preferences i'm surprised society even allows today i learned that if you like people who shave you're a ped did i say that i mean you said leaning so Kinda. No, I think if you prefer zero hair on a woman, it is awfully similar to how a child looks, and people speaking on that preference makes me uncomfortable because, um, women have hair. If a man doesn't like it, he is either not a man yet, or brainwashed by media, or a little sus. Ah yes, if this thing equal women, then that automatically mean women is this. Does that mean that the Dora Milaje from Black Panther is child labor? Some logic on the internet is just the absolute weirdest. If women shave, then women equal child. If women under 5 foot 11, then women equal child. Apparently you can't exist as a woman unless you fit somebody else's parameters, even if those other parameters are by other women. If your name's in Japanese and you live in the Philippines, that's not amore, that's confusion. About me, read my bio. I don't like stupid people. On, uh, have that being in the bio just has me kind of thinking, look, you'd already get off to a nice start. You'd have something in common. Looking for good friends, I'm studying interior design. I like music, singing, movies, food, horse riding, arts, cooking, slash baking. Only Japanese can send a message to me if you are not Japanese automatically deleted. No age limit, even older, I can be friends, feel free to chat me. I have Kakao, WeChat, WhatsApp, Viper, Facebook Messenger, Line, Telegram, Skype, ask me! So you automatically delete anybody that communicates in anything outside of Japanese, but you made your bio in English. Something don't check out here. Also, congratulations for saying that I speak China. Dear men, stop working out. Physical fitness creates a cycle of toxic masculinity that must be eradicated. No. How dare he exercise and work on his physical fitness and, you know, make himself better health and everything. How dare he. I like picking things up and put them down. That does not make me toxic. Writing prompt. You're a blacksmith and a woman you've never seen before walks into your shop asking for a blade. She stops by daily to check on its progress and you form a bond over time until one day she disappears. You are afraid you'll never see her again until you are summoned to the castle. What is the opposite of my lady? Would that be my dude? My, no, my man's would be something I feels I would say. Um, but what, what is the opposite of my lady because this given that major vibes right now amber deserves way better johnny seems like an unstable person with numerous psychological issues i feel like at this point anybody hears the word amber and johnny in the same sentence knows exactly the pairing that this person is talking about and it kind of sucks that this stuff was being said while evidence in the trial was being shown cheating is parts of ups and downs of a relationship though every man is gonna hurt you you just gotta find that one worth hurting for millions of happy wives Wives have been cheated on and hurt, but they fought for their marriage to work. If you are not willing to fight for love, then stay single. All said as if women never cheat. Great. Plus, also, I think if you gotta force a marriage for it to work, uh, it's not gonna be a healthy nor long-lasting one. FBI nabbed accused cop car arsonist by tracing her t-shirt to Etsy. Oh, what do you mean? It's, it's bad for you to crime while you're wearing your own merchandise? 
Dang, never thought of that before. That'd be like me doing a drive-by with Big Purple. Who cheats more, guys or girls? Y'all know, y'all if and lying, guys cheat more. Oh, you're just upset because you didn't get the answer you were hoping for. Oh, ain't that bad. Yeah, don't you know, it's totally that if you make a post online, 90% of the people that answer are going to be liars. I simply can't stand short men or small dong men, even if you say I'm body shaming. I really don't care. The problem of men do not concern me at all. Like, bully them all you like. <laughs> LMAO. Ah oh, yes, another wonderful example of somebody who likely cannot handle the exact same thing being said towards them. I absolutely love people like this because I don't even have to say anything too harsh. I just have to literally say the exact same thing that they said to other people, but change a couple of words and it'd be the exact same thing, but no, now it's an issue. It's almost as if you can't handle something being said to you. Maybe you shouldn't say the exact same thing. You know, the good old thing of can't take it, don't dish it. Like, you can absolutely guarantee somebody like this gets absolutely nuclear when you say anything regarding itty bitty titty committee. And last I checked in the word body shaming, the word accept does not come up at any point in time whatsoever. What if I told you that sometimes I give my menstrual blood to my plants because it is super nutritious for them and codes them to my specific health needs? Uh, two things. First off, I'm gonna ask you to cite your sources on that. And secondly, don't you get anywhere near baby group. It's that time again. We need to talk about why adding voice chat to your game is anti-inclusivity and how it hurts your marginalized and female player base, especially within competitive play. I'm going to break it down as concisely as clearly as I can. Let's go. Oh yeah, a whole lot of people with cis white male voices thinking voice chat is critical to competitive games being competitive. Uh, tell me more about how we'll solve systemic misogyny and everything will be fine. <laughs> Lol. Not saying you can't use voice chat with your friends or your pre-made. It hurts randoms in pickup matches. Ah oh, yes, because that's how you definitely make sure that everybody feels included, by making sure that a certain type of human is not included. Because a lot of men nowadays are brought up with that and can't think for themselves. Okay, that is not what the P in PBS stands for. But if these men are socialized to respect women, uh, then nothing, yeah I'm not saying that with a Y at the end, should happen. It's also interesting that all these men say it's realistic because they are admitting something about themselves that they probably don't realize. All men should have to spend a minimum of five years in federal prison and use that time to think about what they've done and all the trouble they have caused. Well, looks like I'm getting arrested. Why? I don't know. I guess maybe I took somebody's crab rangoon, but you know what? I'll see you guys in 2028. If you ever wanted to drop the unearned arrogant douchebag routine, feel free to hit me up as a friend. I mean, I would never again want to date or have S with you, but if you could get realistic about your place in the world, we could be friends at least, but never ever with you acting like you are top tier at life. <laughs> That's a joke. You are not much for anyone to get excited about. You have utterly wasted being a white male. So well, oh well, get real, and uh, maybe we can talk. Otherwise, you have zero value to me, and I have no reason to let you in my life. Oh, and nice pick from 15 years ago. <laughs> Lamau. R slash just like beard things. That's a cute sub. I mean, you strike me as a yeah, that's a word that's censored on YouTube. TBH. Can't fault that. I am a lady going my own way. So, Hef, I am laughing so hard at the fact that you finally after all of this time Revealed yourself to be a misogynist. That is a great A++++. I always knew it, so thanks. Everyone who has ever been close to you knows that you are trash. Absorb that. Absorb it. Hello, Mayo. I just realized you are borderline incel. No self-respecting woman wants to have SU. You can only get women with bad self-esteem. Thank goodness I am a no longer one of those. Wow, I am browsing this sub and reveling in the fact that you revealed to me that you hate women. I always suspected it, and now I have confirmation. You always diss heavy people and can bet money that you are huge these days. Karma must be slapping you in the face.
face right now. You are a 1 out of 10 person. Bravo. Enjoy feasting on your mediocrity. Sorry, I can no longer feed your undeserved and bloated ego. I mean, it's not your fault that straight white men are treated like gold, but it's 100% your fault for buying into it and doing absolutely nothing with your privilege. Yeah, caption said you broke up with him 16 years ago, but yeah, he's totally the weird one. A correction, a hurting only towards women. Men can't get hurt by women, and when they do, it doesn't count. This isn't a debate. I'm telling you information you don't want. Ah, uh, yes. So, in the past, whenever I have been punched or bullied, if it was done by a woman, it is absolutely negated. I hate this. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.